Hello everyone, God bless you. This is Bishop Connor Paul Vincent coming to you from Texas, USA. Hey, um, this message specifically is for Nigerians and the authorities in Nigeria, especially INEC. Well, I want to thank God for the grace he has given you. I know some of us have really been out there making a case for to make the right choice to go out and vote and i want to thank god that people really turned out to vote in some part of the world um, part of the country i know there are places they had some um issues um i neck uh, materials didn't arrive on time their their personnel didn't arrive on time and issues like that now this has been something that has been going on for 24 years. I like you've been conducting election since 1999. And by now, one would think that you will have perfected many of the logistic and what have you. But in being that Beavers was introduced this year, one was hoping it to be uh, more smooth. But now, the fact that many parts of the country didn't get to use this and did things manually and we have seen videos and pictures circulating of where people were paid we saw the videos of the cash sitting millions and they were just thumb printing thumb printing and then those were supposed to be submitted as result of an election we have seen videos and pictures of where even after election has held credibly and people have voted the INEC officials refuse to transmit those and we are trying to, you know, have their way to manipulate those. And eventually, the result they submitted was different from what was the original result from at the polling unit. Now, in any part of the world, if you want to have a credible election and you want people to take you serious, you have to be transparent. You have to be seen to be doing the right thing. If there is any connivance of INEC or INEC officials with some political parties or the thugs to... To, 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 to divert and um, vote from one candidate to the other or to rob people of the election uh, of their votes, then the whole process becomes corrupted. So I want to speak to INEC and I encourage the Nigerian government and INEC specifically to cancel many of the elections in any part of the country, be it uh, a polling unit, be it um, a state, a local government, a state, where there are credible evidence of... Um, in a rigging that has happened of vote buying and all of that because there is no way you can have fake results results that have been doctored have been manipulated there's no way you will have it as a result of the people voting and then you want the world to believe that that is the result of what um the people said or the, the people voted for and then you expect anybody to take you serious and I'm sure the international observers have already made some of these observations. And the good thing is that there are videos, there are pictures of all of these um, atrocities going on. INEC, you have to take responsibility. You have to make a, a, a take a stand and make a decision to cancel many of those elections in the places affected. Places where they use um, thugs to threaten people. I mean democracy you vote who you want and nobody should penalize anybody or punish or threaten anybody any polling unit or any place where people are threatened to vote one way or the other such a place um election should be canceled because people are supposed to vote according to who they believe they, they is best to lead them not based on threat or based on somebody you know putting a gun in their head or threatening them to vote one way or the other so i am praying that um this issue will be resolved even though the coalition is going on but many already have lost um confidence in the process but i make you have a responsibility to, to 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 establish credibility once again so that people can trust and know that you are not siding one candidate over the other you should be seen to be a, an unbiased umpire that will be able to conduct a credible election that will be seen by all to be credible and acceptable and for those who are aggrieved and who may want to take to the street, I want to encourage you, Nigerians, um, to be patient a little bit and let the process play out. And I know that the, the parties who either didn't win or felt they were cheated, I mean, I hopefully I hope that they will be able to seek legal redress, maybe through the courts. And eventually, ultimately, we hope that the people or the right person who won or the people for the Senate and House of Reps who won will be the right ones to be to be sworn in and where justice has been perverted hopefully um the right things will be done and justice will eventually be served 
and only the right candidate who who uh, won the election will be the one to be declared the winner. So we are praying for you, Nigeria, and we are hoping that things will, you know, will work out for your good because this is the only chance you have for the next eight years to get it right. And on the other hand, I've heard about some Nigerian authorities threatening those who are speaking out. You have to face responsibility of what you have failed to do and not worry about those who are voicing out against the irregularities and against the injustice going on. How in the world do you are beginning to threaten people to arrest them for speaking out? I mean, you can't just eat your cake and have it. You can try to perpetrate evil and injustice and see, try to shut people up. So there's, that, that's just a waste of time. So I just want to encourage Nigerian government, hey, face your business and take care of what you have to take care of. Sort the elections and try to resolve the issues you have on hand because you have a, a gunpowder that is about to explode if not well managed. You don't have to worry about those who are speaking out and threatening arrest because that already goes to show that what you have been over the past eight years is exactly the reason why people want to vote you out. And I guarantee you that you, APC government, will be voted out because if there is any other thing other than voting you out, then we can be sure that you have just rigged the election. And there's no way you can expect people to be quiet because people have suffered over the past 80s and the past one, two months, have, Nigerians have suffered so much that those of us not in Nigeria, we could feel the pain. So there is no way you could expect people to go through such suffering and pain and you expect them not to voice out, not to be angry, and not to speak through their vote. And when they speak through their vote, you're not trying to suppress them, trying to threaten them. Are you kidding me? Anyway, the world is watching, and we're just praying and hoping that the right thing will be done in Nigeria. I pray that Nigeria will experience peace and progress once again. And I pray that the right candidate will win, who, of course, many have voted. It's clear that Peter Obi is winning across the board. And I ho I'm hoping that he, he won't be read out of the, the whole thing. But I just pray that God's will be done and that peace will reign in Nigeria. So we'll be watching this and monitoring this and hoping that all things work together for good. Um, because Nigeria has a great potential. Nigeria is a great country. But if we fail it this time, there may not be a Nigeria to talk about in the first place. Anyway, our prayers are with you. God bless you. Once again, I am Bishop Connor Paul Vincent coming to you from Texas, USA. God bless you.